Hello to all my friends out there. Hi, you guys. I thought I would switch it up. Okay, you guys, they kick up dust in my videos. You have your you have your chance. You can star if you wish. I mean, they tweet up a storm. We'll see what happens. Okay, I hope everyone is doing okay. And so I am going to be selling this. Let's see if I can get the light to pick up this lovely purse. This is such a cute purse. I hate to sell it, but I bought it. It's a crossbody strap. But the cutest thing is it has a tiger eye clasp. I mean, you guys have seen it. Oh, I got a watch in there too. And a little wallet. So I think even though it's goofy, I will wear my purse during the video. Because it's going bye-bye soon. Because I'm going to sell it. Okay, here we go. All right, all right, all right. Oh, and I think I will wear my uh, sunglasses. I got these lovely sunglasses for $2 and I had them adjusted. And they are like brand new. I'm so elated. You might think that is so goofy. Two bucks. If I go on a cruise, life would be good. Okay, so now I want to mention a channel, Living with Lupus. Lily, it's all one word. Look, here it is. My followers and I like to encourage people. She is new. And right now she's uh, kind of critiquing Glenda Sully. And so, you know, the channel's evolved, but she's not mean-spirited about it. And I like the fact that she does her hair. And, you know, it's like the beauty shop, you know? I used to love those kind of young women. So, and I like her. She's real likable. So go to Living with Lupus, Lily, L-E-I, L-E-I, and give her some hearts and some encouragement. I know a lot of the channels that uh, first started, I was watching them when they had like, you know, it seems like you'll never get a thousand subscribers, but actually... Uh, this girl has made a lot of fast progress. I don't really think it's her uh, subject matter because I don't care what Glenda was doing 10 years ago. I just like to watch Lily's videos. Okay, so now go check it out if you wish. Okay, now what is going on here? What is going on here? Well, it could... It, <laughs> The best case scenario would be a 10 year recession, recessionary period. That would be the best scenario. That's possible and we're in year two. It could be aggravated by the grand solar minimal. That for sure is going on. Uh, the blue one back here is Sweetie Pie and the gray one is Shadow. They're, let me give you a close up of these. Oh, now they're picking each other and they're picking each other in front of the family, the YouTube family. They do, come on you guys, be nice. Come on. Okay, so I took their water and threw it out. They destroyed their cage. Okay, so possible depression, possible famines, possible WAR. Okay, one of the things that's going on is, I don't know, this is the way I see it. You guys don't attack me, but it looks as though um, the our country has made some, some uh, headway in the U country in the southern region. So they're kind of making some headway in the western border by the our country. And in the northern part of the U country uh, in Belarus, which caused Finland, you know, uh, if you think about the Finland with their uh, tanks moving towards the border, it makes more sense if you know the our country is making headway in the south. Uh, and so along the south, the east, and the north, they have captured or they have attacked almost every major city. So we're looking for a recession, the grand solar minimum, 
a depression, a famine, a war, we're watching other countries. And so what I would do, especially if I uh, lived in um, Europe, is I would prepare for the W word. Okay, so you guys have seen me stockpile food. You've seen me buying these big bags of food. If you can see, I don't know if you can see it. Let me see. I have food. Let me see if I can show you. There's food under there. There's food all over the place, actually. So you've seen me do it. You've seen how I did it. And so now what are we going to do? Are we going to make the next 10 years a living hell? No. What we're going to do, what I am going to do, is I'm going to keep stockpiling, but I'm going to think of it like a treasure hunt. So, you know, to make it a little bit fun, we've got to have stuff. And for another thing, so all this stuff costs pretty much nothing. Let me uh, direct the... Let me direct the camera over to the table. Ah, that's better. So what I did is the first place I went is Walmart. And I found this salad dressing for 50 cents. That's cheap. Normally uh, $3.12. I will eat this on my salad. Then, okay, so that was cheap, 50 cents. Then what? Then I went to a grocery outlet in El Cajon, and I thought, I just want to find a few good deals each day, like a treasure hunt. So you might be thinking, I don't have time. Yeah, you can do it after work or on the weekends. You don't have to make it for your living. I bought this can of refried beans because these come in handy uh, for 59 cents. So what I would make with these is I would fry a tortilla, I would heat these beans, it's a bacon grease, and I would mash them and I would add a little milk or water. Then I would put meat on the top and cheese, and then I would put some lettuce and tomatoes, and this is gonna make a lot of tostadas. Okay, so that was 59 cents. Then I bought these morsels and more for 50 cents. These will be good in my granola or my uh, protein bars or some cookies, of course. Uh, there's a recipe. I don't know if you guys can see it. You might want to take a screenshot. Grocery outlet, 50 cents. So you might be thinking, well, yeah, but you're spending money. Well, okay, so I spent two bucks. Then, uh, now this was a good deal. This was a dollar, and this is 13, almost a pound, 13.75, and it expires August 2022. They're predicting a potato shortage. Okay, then, 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 I went to Grocery Outlet, and I got this cereal for a dollar. That's a really good deal. So what I do is, what I try to find is shredded wheat, uh, raisin bran, or uh, corn flakes, something that when I, um, I, I eat it with milk gives me a complete protein. So if something happens, I will sit in the house and eat bowls of cereal. Then I bought another bag of cookies for 99 cents. This is a third bag. And then I bought, okay, I finally found a good deal. I These are good. I'm going to buy some more of these. Two for a dollar. That is incredibly cheap for a good protein bar. I can't say mine were better. Okay, then now here was the deal of deals. I got uh, five of these for 97 cents. This, this stuff was grocery outlet. So uh, crackers are getting expensive. And these were good because I was eating them today. Uh, but mainly these are for eating all those cans of soup I stockpile. Okay, then I bought this uh, liquid hand soap for uh, 97 cents. I'll give it to my daughter-in-law because I bought it by a gallon, but that was a good deal. Then I got this lovely shade of lipstick for... Um, $1.47, I'll be wearing this. 
And then, you know, the hairdresser and me, I bought these combs for like $1.50. So I lost my receipt, but these were a good deal. Today for lunch, I had bought five of these before. So these were 50 cents, so I, I've eaten two. I didn't buy them today. And then I got this can of tuna marked down. I think it was 50 cents. See, it has a little dent here. So this is the kind of thing I'm gonna be trying to find on my treasure hunt. Now, I wanna show you, oh, I wanna mention my art. Okay, what I try to do is find original works of art. And then when I'm done with them, I sell them. I didn't pay much for them and I sell them cheap. They're easy to sell. Okay, so now I want to show you, if I can, my home decor. Oh, boy, I can't see which direction I'm going. Okay, okay, this is good. Okay. Today I was at the thrift store, and so I found new pillows. I, w I thought I was going to buy three. This is so much better than what I had before, but I got home with only two. I was so disappointed. So these are big fur pillows. This is much better than, uh, I'll show you, I have orange over here. But I want, this is really nice for a pillow, but I want to mention something about this pillow. Uh, the thing that's really awesome about this pillow is it's choppable. So you just give it some karate chops and see now it looks so cute. Uh, over here we don't we have the old pillows, but here are my old pillows. The fur pillows for me are so much better than these orange pillows. Served me well since Christmas, but I'm going to the swap meet probably uh, Sunday, and they're going bye bye. So you guys, you know I want to mention something. Let's see if you can see it. Okay, uh, this blouse I bought at the thrift store. These pants I bought at the thrift store, but they're waist high jeans. I always thought, oh, those are for old ladies. I am an old lady. And then what I want to mention is, can you see these lovely boots? What I do is I lurk around Target, and then when I get the chance, I bought these for nine bucks. So, you know, they were nothing but a good deal. I try to find uh, two boots per year. So I, I easily did that. Uh, can you guys see my candlesticks? Okay, I bought the candlesticks, but I also bought red ones for um, Christmas. I'm starting to prepare for Christmas now because it's gonna be here before you know it. So just like, you know, your wardrobe, your home decor, your food storage is best when you don't torture yourself, little by little by little. And my garden is coming along nicely, and I will show it to you as soon as I possibly can. Okay, you guys, please like, comment, and subscribe, and God bless you all. Uh-oh, bye. Bye, not bye.